if you're thinking about planting yourself a brand new hedge, but are being put off by the large price tag, then don't go anywhere. Because in today's video, I will show you the cheapest way to achieve a luxury hedge at a fraction of the cost. Even if you're brand new to gardening, following the simple steps outlined in this video could save you hundreds and potentially thousands of pounds. Let's get into it. So the location that I'm looking to put this hedge is right here, and there currently is a very thick lawn. So step one is going to be getting a very sharp spade and actually digging this out. Now, luckily for me, I've already got this concrete edging in the front of my driveway. So I want to make sure that I have enough room to lay what will be a double layered hedge. I want to leave 25 centimeters from the edging itself for the first row of hedging. And my second line of hedging will be 25 centimeters away from that, which will take me to 50. And then I want it to be symmetrical. So I'm going to put my first stake in here at 75 centimeters and then hammer that down. And obviously I want to do exactly the same thing on the other side. Now I can set up my string line and make sure it's pulled tight between these two stakes so I know exactly where I need to dig out. And I wouldn't underestimate the value of setting up one of these string lines. That attention to detail to make sure that your trench that you're digging out is nice and straight is going to look a lot better so it's definitely worth taking the time to get things like this done and i find it's always easier when you're digging out stuff like this to do what i'm doing here this will save you a fair bit of effort and that's just grid it up to roughly the grid size of the top of your spade and then you will be able to simply dig it out one bit at a time Something else that you might want to bear in mind is all of the lawn that you are taking out, you could take it to the tip or alternatively, if you have the room, you could simply leave it in a pile and cover it up. And this will provide you some really nice, rich compost to use later on in the year. As you can see, my trench is now fully dug out the entire length. That took just over one hour to do. And I'm not gonna lie, it was very hard work. So make sure you have an extra Weetabix in the morning that you're going to do this. The next thing I'm going to do is give this one final rake over just to make sure that it is roughly level. and then it's ready to lay the hedges when they arrive in a couple of days. And this is why it's important to set up that string line. You can see that the whole way along, I've got a lovely straight trench. Now, when it comes to saving money on planting your own hedge, the biggest saving that can be made is on the hedging itself. Now, on my screen here, I have the website up that I use to purchase my hedging. I used Hedges Direct. I am in no way affiliated with them. I do not care what website you decide to use. Now, this website's really good because you can click on the hedging that you're after. For me, I went for Privet Hedging because it is almost evergreen which means it's going to actually have leaves on it for the majority of the year but you can absolutely decide on what hedging is right for you and the garden that you've got going on now in my case I looked through all of the hedging that they had available and you will notice that there is a huge price difference between the first option on here which is bare root which is as low as one pounds 49 per plant right up to what they call instant hedging which can be up to 149 pounds 99 and which one you choose is very much going to be down to your personal preference and how patient you are. If you are in a rush to get a hedge that is fully established and needs to be in place straight away, then you are likely going to want to go for something like their instant hedging option or a root ball and something that is quite tall. And you can see that this one's gonna cost you around 30 pounds per plant. However, if you're looking to lay yourself a hedge on a budget and you are prepared to wait a little bit more time for them to become established and grow to the size that you're after, then you should definitely look at bare root instead, which is what I will be showing you shortly. I went for these here, which are the 40 to 60 centimeter bare root plants. You can see that I paid one pound 79 for each of them and that this website also gives you an idea of how many you should be laying per meter. So in my case, it just suggests that I lay anywhere from five to seven per meter. I had a distance of eight meters that I wanted to lay my hedge in, so I needed 54 plants in total. If you're really trying to get the most out of your money, then do look at the lower end that what they recommend per meter. So in this case, you should be looking at the five per meter. Um, and I wouldn't recommend going outside of that because that is gonna affect the overall look of your hedge once it's fully established and grown. 
So now that those privet hedges have arrived, I've spent a little bit of time this morning going over the area where they're going to be planted with a pitchfork and raking that out. And the reason for that is you do not want the compost where these are going to be installed to be all dense. You want to loosen it up to make sure that the roots have somewhere to go when they start growing. Now, when your hedges arrived bare root, you might be surprised just how small the package is that comes to the door. And I did expect them to be a little bit bigger in the box, uh, but as you can see, I've got a pile of 25 here. So yeah, they're, they are quite small. You'll see that there's no sort of soil or pot that comes in each of them. They are literally just, as it says on the website, bare root. And before you put any of these in, I do suggest that you get yourself something like what I've got here. This is a brand called Root Grow that I got online. This bag here cost me about eight pounds and it is gonna be enough to do all of the plants that I've got. And usually on the back of these, it gives you some sort of indication of how much of these you'll need to mix up, depending on the amount of plants that you're going to put in. So just make sure to mix this up and give every single one a dip before you actually start putting these in. I'll show you the planting pattern that I'm going to go for in a second once I've got a few of these in, but just to give an example of how far I would dig into the ground before I actually place one of these. If you've got a shovel like mine, and this is a pretty standard shovel, you wanna to aim to dig a hole about half of the head of the shovel deep, and that should be plenty enough to get your plant into the ground there. And then once you have dug that initial hole, just grab the first plant and center it in roughly where you'd like that to go. And then using the soil that you've dug out, just backfill what you've done. Now it's really important that the plant itself, you don't put the soil above where it was previously once these are dug out. And the reason that's important is if you do, once it gets wet, it is gonna to start to rot the plant, which will actually cause it to die. So just make sure that you don't go any higher than that point. And then once you are happy with it, just use the back of your heel to tread that in. So as you can see, I have gone through this entire length and dug out a nice trench about 30 centimetres wide. I've then laid out all of the hedges that I'm going to lay in this single row. Now what I'll do is work my way through them and backfill all these in. And that is a very efficient way of laying a line of hedges. Then tomorrow, because it's getting a bit late, I will lay the second row. I did want to take a sec just to talk about laying pattern. And you can see here that my final hedge is going to be two rows thick. And I've positioned these about as close together as you actually can with plants of this size. The reason I've done this is I really want this hedge to look as healthy and as thick as quickly as possible. You can see here how close they are together. So I've got my first row here and the second row just behind it. And I've made sure to stagger each of the hedges in a diagonal pattern the entire way across. If you're in less of a rush to have a thick bush, then you can just lay them in one row like I've got here. The main advantages of this is you will need less of the plants in total when you're actually setting these out. And if you're planting them into bad soil, this will allow them to get more nutrients out of what is available instead of more plants competing for what is there. And so you can see in this example, there is just a single row and each of them is spaced 25 centimeters apart. This is as close as you should put them together. If you want to, you could double the distance. And again, the only drawback of that is it is gonna take a little bit longer to all come together. If you're planting these in their recommended season, which is anywhere from December to March, then you don't really need to water these because the weather will do that for you. You, but make sure to keep them watered throughout the summer or any time that it does get particularly hot. You'll probably need to do this for a year until they become very well established. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash like if you enjoyed it. And until next time, happy building.